There are a lot of ways to enjoy eating seafood. Grilled, fried, doused in garlic butter, you name it. And today, here at Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste, we're going to introduce you to one restaurant that satisfies all your seafood cravings. Pick only the precious seafood you can find and sell them how you want it cooked, any way you like it. And where else can you enjoy a place like that? Why only here at the Bacol of 18th Street Palapala Seafood Grill and Restaurant. There are many seafood restaurants along Negros Occidental, but not as popular as this Palapala restaurant that can be found here at the corner of 18th and Aguinaldo Street, Lacson, Bacolod City. Palapala is known as the way seafood is sold by the markets. And here at 18th Street Palapala, fresh seafood are lined up for customers to choose from. Customers can then choose how they want it cooked. Or they can also just pick from a series of ready-to-eat dishes. This is my first time to taste 18th Street Palapala's Cuisine. And today, I have three lovely ladies who are going to join me in my seafood adventure. Some of Bacolod's loveliest faces, we have Rhea, Cherise, and Angel. Hi! Alright, so the three of you have been here already, right? Yes! Mm -hmm. So can you tell me what to expect when I walk in there in order? You will taste the most sumptuous and freshest seafoods. Mm. True! All right. And you'll really have fun. Alright, I love those answers. I believe I'm ready. My stomach is ready for I'm gonna be expecting good food here at Bacol of 18th Street Palapala. So girls, are you ready? Yes, yes. more than ready. Alright, let's go! <laughs> Owner of the Bacolod 18th Street Palapala Seafood Grill and Restaurant, Mr. Roy Lopez. Sir, hi. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome, welcome. All right. So, sir, how exactly do I order around here? Uh, actually, this restaurant is uh, arranged in such a way that it's like a market where you see all the seafoods. You have the squid, you have the fish, the crabs, the shrimp. And all the other big fishes here, all the cuts ones, or you have it cut as according to you want, the way you want it. And once you order, once you get what you want, you have it cooked the way you like. So it's really your choice, you know, what, how you want it cooked, how much, you know, what you want, it's up to you. Are you ready to order? So, what do you want for tonight? You like fish, right? Yes, we like love fish. Fish, okay. Good choice. For me, I love grilled squid. Grilled squid, okay. Ah, okay. uh, you. So, Roy, um, I'm thinking I want to have shrimp this evening, but I don't want it grilled or steamed or the usual thing to do with shrimps. So, what do you rec recommend to me? I surely suggest the pepper shrimp. Pepper shrimp. It's Sounds something good. really. Uh, Sounds good. Something good. Are yeah. you sure I'm gonna like it? I'm very sure. Everybody likes it. Actually. Okay. So everybody is telling me that it's really all awesome. Right. So, so I think I'm getting hungry with all those dishes that you mentioned. Girls, are you hungry too? Uh, I'm ready super. to. <laughs> I know you're hungry too. Okay. Yes. And the viewers are also hungry. So don't change the channel. When we come back. We'll see how it's all going to be done in the kitchen. So stay in your seats behind the entirely amazing taste. We'll be right back. Watching behind the entirely amazing taste, the show where you get to discover delicious dishes from various restaurants. And right now, we're at Bacolod 18th Street Palapala Seafood Grill and Restaurant with Sir Chef Roy Lopez, where we are about to cook all those dishes that we ordered earlier: the fish termidor, grilled squid, 
and the pepper shrimps. Okay, we have all our ingredients here. This is the fish cut, which is actually a lapu-lapu mm -hmm. that you ordered earlier. And these are all the ingredients. We have, of course, the garlic, onions, mushrooms, we have cheese, and we have the secret sauce right here. So I think we're ready to go. First, we're going to steam this fish. Oh, okay? right. So I'm going to ask my chef, one of my chefs to, to cook it for us. Okay. Okay, so while we're steaming the fish, we're going to do the sauce. Let's start out with uh, putting some butter. Then uh, we're going to put some uh, garlic, some onion. Next one, we'll uh, put our uh, secret, secret sauce. sauce. All right. This is our secret sauce. So, there you go. Put a little bit of uh, mushroom. Mushroom. We'll put a little bit of salt and pepper. There you go. So this is known as the Thermidor sauce. Yes, the Thermidor sauce. So now by this time, uh, our fish is uh, getting cooked. I think we're good here. All right. So there we have it. Thermido sauce, ladies and gentlemen. So now we're going to put the steamed fish. Steamed lapu lapu, all right. Then we'll just put the sauce over this. Okay, so we're almost like covering the whole fish. The whole fish. So I'm just gonna garnish it now with a little bit of uh, cheese. Cheddar. Cheese. It adds more flavor. You can also do this chef in different kinds of fish. Like, example, you wanted a blue marlin or what? Yeah, you could also do this with the shrimp. Mmm. Uh, even with the uh, oysters. As long as it's seafood. Yeah, you could uh, do uh, oyster thermidor. Actually, lobster. Lobster thermidor is a good one. So I guess this is it. Uh, it adds flavor and same time it adds to the look of it. So this is the fish thermidor. All right. Nice one. Let's move on to the dish that Sir Chef recommended me, the pepper shrimp. All right, so Chef, what are the ingredients? For the pepper shrimp, uh, of course, we need to have shrimps that's uh, uh, cleaned and deveined, okay? Mm -hmm. And for the ingredients, we have sesame sauce, um, onion, garlic, some uh, ginger, and of course, we use the butter, and of course, pepper, like grounded pepper. Mm -hmm. And we have some secret sauce to go with it. Okay. All right. Okay, so procedure first, we need to uh, Deep fry this shrimp. Okay. <laughs> watch out, watch out. <laughs> While that's being deep fried, I'm gonna cook here the sauce already. And of course, I'm gonna put this one first. Garlic. And the onions. onions. I love the smell of garlic and yep. butter. <laughs> Ginger. Nice. Okay. Let's check our shrimp here. Is it done? Not yet? Not yet. A little more. Okay. So, at this time, we will now put some of our secret sauce. Alright. At this point, we're going to transfer our deep fried shrimps. Okay, 
then we'll just directly put it here. There you go. Okay, of course, the pepper. Which gives the kick to the shrimp, right? The spiciness. Yes. Ooh. So I just continue to build up putting this pepper. At this point, I'm gonna put a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil. Okay. Then again, this is a pepper overload. <laughs> okay. More pepper. More pepper. And uh, I think we're done. Yeah. There you go. I put a little bit of this spring onions. So now we're ready to plate. We're ready to plate this. So now uh, we're done with our cooking. We're now gonna plate the pepper shrimp. So part of the process of offering your dish is to make it look beautiful. They said cooking is like uh, making love, you know? <laughs> you have to put your heart at every part of the process. Tender loving care. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, enjoy. It has to look good, you know? Definitely. Then now we're gonna put some of the sauce just to, to add more of the flavor. Okay. And of course, we're gonna top it with our, with our spring onion. So, I guess... There you go. Our pepper shrimp. Bon appetit! Alright, so our next seafood dish is the grilled squid. So as you notice, we have minimal ingredients but there's a trick in doing this grilled squid. Sir Chef? Well, one of the tricks is really the taste and the taste comes from our secret sauce. Alright, another secret sauce. So before anything else, we put a little bit of the secret sauce, okay? Just to add to the flavor. After that, okay, uh, we are going to put some lemongrass. So our ingredients for this grilled squid is lemongrass, the secret sauce, and the squid. Yes. So. Okay, we're putting the lemongrass in the squid. Now we're ready to barbecue, to grill. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. The top. Some fresh tomatoes and onions. Yes. And uh, and for some finishing touches, fried garlic. We're gonna garnish it with fried garlic. There you go.
we have the fish thermidor, which looks really good by the way. The grilled squid and the pepper shrimp. All right. All these are actually making my stomach crumble. Plus, my mouth is elevating to the smell and to the sight of all this delicious seafood. So stick around, behind the E80, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Behind the Darling Amazing Taste with me, Mark, and with Ria, Charisse, and Angel are also with me today, along with Sergio Roy Lopez. All right, so I think all of us here are ready to begin, right guys? Right. Yes. But before that, we actually have more food on the table than the ones we ordered. So we have the fish shinigang, the sizzling marlin, the crispy fish tail, and some chili crabs. So Chef, I noticed that the guests can really customize every dish that they want to have. Yep. Uh, like I said, uh, you could. it's really according to what you want. So we have all parts of the fish here. We have the fish tail, like you see there. And of course, the sinigang is mostly the head part. And the uh, meat part, the body part there, of course, the, the marlin's uh, body and... Uh, and of course, this one also. We this is also like you said, the lapu lapu uh, cut. So that's it. All right. I don't yeah. think I can wait anymore. So yes, yeah. everything here looks so appetizing and delicious. So let's begin. Yeah. All right. Go go. <laughs> Chef, are you also fond of seafood? Yeah, actually, yeah. The thing that I like about seafood is because it's so abundant here in uh, Negro. So it's already part, actually, of our culture, part of our taste buds. Everybody grew up with seafood, so you learn to like it more and more. Actually, the um, seafood here you could find from all over uh, Negros. Some come from the north, some come from the south. Do you have a favorite seafood, Sir Chef? Mm, well, not necessarily. Everything's good. Um, the blue marlin. Um, you could not find this kind of blue marlin anywhere. It's just here. Okay, and, uh, yeah. So, how many times have you been here? Around five to ten times already. Five to ten times. But despite okay. that, I still to love go to back. go All back right. here. Alright. <laughs> Any personal favorite? I love the shrimp. Shrimp, the pepper shrimp. Well, this place is good for family friends. Yeah. Right. Why 18th Street Palapan? It means like a market. Mm -hmm. And I think it means like uh, there, there used to be a saying na ginapala ginapiko. <laughs> okay. And I think it's like pails of seafood. So I think that's. You know, if you go to the market, you see uh, pails of seafood. That's why it's called palapala, mm -hmm. I guess. So, how many years does Bacola did you stay palapala? We were on our ninth, then ninth? it's coming tenth. Tenth year now, yeah. Actually, seafood makes you young. <laughs> and uh, maintain your figure, you know? Because seafood is healthy. healthy. Yes. That's why we have so many beautiful women come to, uh, come to our restaurants. <laughs> Do you have any, any plans of uh, reaching out outside Negros? Well, we do have plans, but one thing that stops us from doing that is because it's only here in Negros that you find this kind of seafood. It's so hard to uh, do this in Manila uh, when you get seafood from somewhere else. So, um, we still haven't figured out how to do that. For now, we're happy serving the people of Bacolod. And actually, it has become a tourist destination already. So, they call this the seafood destination of Bacolod City. Actually, it's like people are saying that um, coming to Bacolod, uh, is, you should be coming to 18th Street Palapala also. So Your Bacolod adventure wouldn't be complete without you. Exactly. That's your Bacolod experience. Why do you put up uh, this kind of restaurant? 
Actually, uh, there's an original uh, Palapala area here where you find the market and you have it, you get the seafoods cooked there. And I've always been a fan of going to this place. When we were thinking about the concept of putting up a restaurant, we thought of putting up the same concept because we're actually near in that area from here. But we want it to be more safer, more accessible, and I guess more cleaner. It's more convenient for the customers to come. But the same concept where you see the food and you have it cooked the way you like it. Okay, so girls and uh, gentlemen, how was the experience of uh, eating here at Bacol 18th Street, Palapala? Well, the experience is just more than just the usual, especially with the fish because mm -hmm. the cream complements it. It's very creamy. Which isn't fish? It? The termidor? Yes. Okay. That one. Well, I was amazed that cheese can go well with fish and it's very well clean. Definitely for the squid or the grilled squid, it's perfectly delicious. It's soft and it's well grilled properly and all the stuffings. You know what? I really enjoyed having a choice yeah. of the variety of seafoods found there outside. Especially yeah. the fishes. Yeah. Yeah. And you have the chance to choose what particular type of cooking dish you would like to mm -hmm. all the Customized. Yeah, customized. customized. Okay. The one that you recommended me, the pepper shrimp. It's, yeah, it's more than the usual shrimp that I tasted. Actually, it's my first time to taste a pepper shrimp, actually. The, the taste is unique. You can really taste the pepper, the spiciness. Uh -huh. and yeah, it's a thumbs up for me. Great, like I told you. Only here at Palapala. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I will go back here at Palapala. Sure. Just to taste all we'll see you here again. Yes. Lots of variety of dishes as well. And too bad, girls, yeah. you were not with me earlier in the kitchen. I get to experience the magic. Yeah. How they put magic in the seafood. <laughs> and I don't it's know. Sir Chef. It's Sir Chef, of yeah. course. It's the magician. Oh. That's why people watching this behind the E18, you must definitely try this Bacolod 18th Street Palapala Seafood Grill and Restaurant because your Bacolod experience wouldn't be complete without eating in this restaurant. Of course, yeah. Sir Chef. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> hope to see you more uh, and you're welcome all the time. You know, this is uh, Bacolod Seafood's destination. Sir Chef, I'm very curious since we ate a lot of seafood. Do you also serve other dishes here at the Holiday Inn? Yeah, well, uh, of course, I could suggest something like uh, you should try the buffalo tilapia. Okay, um, we could also serve you the head, which we call the fish head on bell pepper sauce. Okay, and of course, uh, some people go here also for the fish canilao. And I don't know if you like kinilaw. I uh, love kinilaw. I love seafood. You should try it. It's <laughs> very, uh, it's very milky, very milky. Try the if you're here, you know. Sometimes you could try the fish and chips with your beer, something like that. Uh, you know, fish and chips, something like American, and uh, the fish and tofu. Okay, fish and tofu. It's like uh, sizzling. Okay, with tofu. And another thing. Uh, Maybe the next time you should come, you should try the fish on wasabi mushroom sauce. Wasabi oh, mushroom delicious. sauce. It's something really unique yeah, and... Spicy. Yes. Right, you, mentioned, <laughs> you, me you mentioned the American with the fish and chips, Chinese with the tofu, and yep. now Japanese. Yeah, wow. Japanese. And guess what? We have Middle Eastern also. You should try the seafood kebab. <laughs> seafood kebab. It's actually a uh, seafood. It's uh, shrimp, it's fish, it's squid together with uh, some uh, tomato and uh, onion and bell pepper. It's like skewered together. So there's so much more. We could talk the whole night about the foods here, about seafoods. But we also serve uh, in a sal. Because of course we are Bacolod, Bacolod yeah. Without you know we could you could not be in Bacolod without in you know, a sal. And of course we have some uh, pork uh, liempo. We have the crispy pata, pork uh, barbecue, wow. and all that. So at the same time we have the turo turo, which is available all the time. We have the kare kare, we have the caldereta, we have the um, uh, KBL, which is Kajos Baboy Lanka. Uh, <laughs> We have the native chicken tenol, which of course we have the native chicken on it. Much more, we have so much more. Ilongo uh, 
food that we have here. So let's check it out. I'd like to invite everyone again to come visit us here at Bacol 18th Street Palapara Seafood Grill and Restaurant. The ultimate seafood experience. You could not be in Bacol if you're not coming here at uh, Bacol 18th Street Palapara, the, the seafood destination. And of course, we have all kinds of seafoods and all kinds of Ilongo food here. And uh, we're here for the people of Bacolod and for everyone visiting Bacolod. So come and enjoy us here. We're located right at uh, uh, Laxon uh, here at 18th Street, corner Aguinaldo. So come visit us. Thank you very much. I've been here for several times. I've been here when this restaurant was first put up, day one. My favorite dish is sizzling squid and sinigang na pangige. Kilawin, it tastes good. Scallops and um, shrimps. Shrimps and then your manumbo, your blue marlin. My favorite dish is the buttered shrimp and the crabs. Yung lasa niya, yung kakaiba. Yung, yung siguro yung timpla. Yung timpla ng shrimp, especially yung shrimp. Kasi compared sa iba, siyempre marami na rin nakainan na ibang restaurant. But then yung, yung pagkakaluto ng buttered shrimp, iba. Malasang malasa. Hanggang sa ano, yung kahit balat niya, balat ng shrimp. Then may lasa pa din. Lahat po ng mga first timer sa Bacolod, try niyo po yung sa 18th Street Palapala, especially the buttered shrimp. Ang sarap po talaga. I'd like to invite you, all of you, to come over here to taste the food here. Every night. Every night if possible. <laughs> If you're a seafood lover like me, or someone who wants to have a taste of the freshest seafood without leaving the city, then I assure you that you will enjoy yourself here at the Bacolod 18th Street Palapala. It's clean, convenient, and well, their seafood cooked just how you want it. It's your choice, Bacolod 18th Street Palapala, Bacolod's seafood destination. I'm Mark, and join me again next time as we go and discover more good restaurants and what's behind the Entirely Amazing Taste. See ya! You're watching Behind the Entirely Amazing Taste, the show where you get to discover delicious dishes from various restaurants. And right now, we're at Bacolod 18th Street Palapala Seafood Grill and Restaurant with Sir Chef Roy Lopez. <laughs>